good everybody welcome back to your favorite news network the dusty news network you know where nigga news comes first and man i got a great show for you today stop the show <laughs> i am great so that does make a lot of sense obviously this show's gonna be great check this out this particular lady right here used to ignore men now she's willing to pay her own bride price. Can I get a ooh sound effect? Ooh. A chick tells other ladies, you must submit to your husbands, no matter how independent they are, you are. And guess who got mad? Stop the show. <laughs> they cussed her ass out, as we're gonna see. And then a mama tries to get a Valentine's date for her son because he asked her out for Valentine's Day. <laughs> that's actually kind of nasty, but that's how shit be sometimes. So guys, sit back, get you some Kool-Aid, uh, 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 a barbecue corn nuts, some, 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 some grits, Albers grits, and let's get into the news. We gonna fly all the way to Kenya and stop the show. Yeah, we might go to the Westlands because y'all know when I stay there. I'm always over there, right? But we're dealing with this sister by the name of Wombo Wanjeji. I might have messed it up. Don't be mad. It's not my fault. And she was a very, she is a very successful businesswoman, right? And she was used to having her way. She used to ignore brothers a lot out there in Kenya. She used to be like, take music. Oh, I don't want you niggas. I'm too fly. I don't need y'all. I'm independent. I'm making my money. My career comes first. And now, as you can see, the wall is nearest. And now she's singing a different tune. So much so that her rich ass is willing to do what? Pay her own bride price to find a man. Stop the show. Now, isn't that thirsty? Isn't that desperate? Yeah, it is desperate. You know what? Don't believe me? Let's bring up this real quick. She, te she tweeted, Day music! A few years back, I used to ignore men a lot. Now I'm missing to have one of my own and get married. The problem is that when you pray to God, he has also changed nowadays. He gives you those who have already been taken. Stop the show. That's a lie. God don't change, you changed. Like from the last few years to what you look like now, what you changed was the wall. It hit you, you know? You probably had a little bit too many, too many quarter pounders and you wasn't, you know, you wasn't really on the treadmill enough. And, and now you didn't, you, 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 you didn't let yourself go a little bit. And now you want to blame God for that. Can I get some church music? Why do y'all always want to blame the Lord? Like the Lord ain't got nothing to do with your dusty ass and your inability to get a man. Now you out here lonely because don't nobody want you. That ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. And he's sending you the ones that have already been taken. No, those are the only guys that will deal with you because now you have been relegated to a side piece. No more music. So now she also added this. This is hella funny. Bring up the clip. Thank you, music. Single man, where are you? I swear, I have my own land and cattle, and you won't struggle much. Let's leave sideshows. We will have a wedding in May, and I will pay the dowry. As long as a man has a voice, I don't have a problem. Now let me just do this. That means that don't nobody want your ass, okay? You have land, you have cattle, and you live in Kenya. So, there's a lot of brothers out there that probably would like to go with a lady that has some money. You're just not one of them. You have to go out on Twitter and try to get a man. Listen, it's over. And anybody that would deal with you that you would pay for their bride price, we know how you're gonna treat them. You're gonna try to treat that guy like you own him. Like he's a piece of property. And still, every night, he will have to booty clap us down. Yeah, and that's probably not worth it for him to have to do that with you. Just forget about it. It's over. You need to call Kevin Samuel Show. So we can go to Kenya all the way to Nigeria, right? In Nigeria, I love them. They always got some of the best stories and gossip on the internet. 
and we all know, give me like some nice romantic music. February the 14th is coming. That is Valentine's Day. Stop the show. For you brothers, it's good to break up with your girl right now on February the 13th, then get back with her on February the 15th when all the chocolate and bears and all that shit is 50% off. Trust me, I do it every year and it works. Saves a lot of goddamn money. But anyways, this particular brother, as you can see right here, shout out to him. He's having a hard time getting a date. Can I, can you, can you give me like a all sound effect? Aww. Yeah, it's really sad. So he actually posted this message. Pull it up on the screen. Date music. Good afternoon, mama. I'm coming over next month to take you off for a vow. Mom was like, why don't you have a girlfriend take you out? He was like, mom, I'm still single. She was like, shame on you, my dear. Even your younger brother have one. Can I have a, oh, sound effect? Oh. Well, I'm traveling next month, but I will see what I can do. Stop the show. What mom was trying to tell you, brother, is she about to be getting her back beat out by somebody else in Nigeria. So you can't come over there because booty clapping sounds, the, uh, 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 editors. Yeah, that's what's going to be happening to her in a Motel 6 or Motel 5.5 in Lagos. So she can't have your ass over there messing things up. She got to get her groove back. So what mom did was mom went out to negotiate with everybody, right? So she actually went and she posted, you know, that she's looking for somebody for her son. And of course, everybody roasted her, roasted him. We'll post the comments there on the screen so you can see some of the Twitter reactions right there. Let me say this. Hey man, if your mom has to ask for other ladies for you to get a woman or you to get a date, doesn't really look that good, bro. I mean, listen, get tender. I mean, bro, you in Nigeria, it's like 200 million people there. You should be able to holler at something. You just don't have no mouthpiece. You don't have no game. Or you just think your mama look real good and you're sick. That Oedipus complex might be real, but bro, believe in yourself. Go out there, try to holler. You're gonna get shot down. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, if I can do it, you can do it. But stop the show. I do got game though. I must admit. We're staying all the way in Nigeria and we're gonna be dealing with a sister by the name of uh, Aisha Aliyu. Stop the show. That must be a good Muslim sister. Give her a round of applause. She has recently striked or struck a chord with a lot of citizens of Nigeria by saying that women must submit to their husbands no matter how much money they make or how independent they are if they want to receive a hand in marriage. Now, why many people agreed with her, y'all know some of the feminists out there and stop the show. Yes, they are in Africa. A lot of them are dusty. I met some of them, but then I had to spray them with the, you know, the be gone hater spray. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, they were mad at her talking about that's an old teaching. You know, they were like, fake music. Oh, that's so old. We're in a new day in 2021. Okay. Nigerian ladies. Well, how about this? Since we in a new day, how about 50-50? How about she pay 50% of the bills? How about she pay 60% of the bills or 70% of the bills? How about, you know, um, when something heavy packages come in, you go out there and you get it. Yeah. Okay. How about that? Oh, oh wait. Oh no, no, no. Oh, you want somebody to pay a hundred percent of the bills. Huh? Oh, you want somebody to give back you all those weaves. Oh, you want somebody to buy you all those sandals. Oh, you want somebody to buy you all that makeup. Oh, you want somebody to have you living in Banana Island. Oh, you want to have somebody to have you living in Lecky Island. Oh, you want to have somebody having you live over there. Oh, but you don't want to submit, but you want a guy to do everything. And that is exactly why you single. Can I get a ooh sound effect? That's why you single. Let's be honest. See. That's the same problem that brothers are having in America. Here you have people who are un, 
let me not say un, entitled, not ready for relationships, not ready to put in any effort, but wanting everything. But the Muslim sisters understand it better, unfortunately, the more of our sisters who own the Christian side. Okay? Because if that man's gonna do everything for you, 100% financially and provide, um, you can't come with a 35% submission. You need to come with a 100% submission. And if you don't, you need to get your ass up out of here because he ain't gonna go for that. Because let me tell you, it's a lot of women in Nigeria that's nice looking, that have this, that have the good pretty face, that's gonna get along with his program. So you'll, you know, you'll be like that first sister we had up here who have all that money begging for a man living with her cattle and cows and, 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 and kittens uh, dusty and single and lonely. That's going to be you if you don't get it together. So guys, we had a great show today. I forgot all the people that we had. Oh yeah, we had the sister out there begging for somebody to marry her, right? Then we had the other person, I believe, you know, submit to your husbands. That was it. And then we had Jeopardy music. I gotta check my show. I forgot I'm getting old. We had the dude who asked his mama to help him get a girlfriend, or he asked his mom out for Valentine's Day. Man, this is gonna be a tough one. Who will win the Dusty Ward of the day? Jeopardy music! Drum roll, please! And the Dusty of the Ward winner goes to the First Lady. How you gonna make all that money talking about you used to ignore men, you used to ignore them, and all of that, and all of that, and all that stuff. But now look at you. Now you want a man. Now you want to pay bride price. Now you want to do all of that. No, 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 no. It's over. You made your choice. Now lay in it. Now you want somebody you're willing to pay for the D. But you can't even give that away for free. Even in Kenya, you know what I'm saying, where the brothers might be willing to work with you, they don't even want you. Because why? You must have a bad attitude. You must be annoying. You must be something like that. But don't worry, you're dusty. It's over for you. Hook her up with that dust. Well guys, it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. The Dusty News Network. Man, it's been a great show. Make sure you go to the first comment, pin to the top. Check me out there. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Look at the Patreon. Go to the, uh, check out the Black Men at Perfect T-shirts, guys. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.